Hey, what's up guys? It's me, David, here, and I have another tutorial. Yeah, three tutorials in a day. New record. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to get a professional-looking YouTube, uh, YouTube, um, banner thingy, uh, just by using GIMP 2.6 and a little editing magic. So... Uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go into GIMP 2.6 and I'll put in the link in the description below for GIMP to download and I'll also put in my Twitter like I usually do. So we're just gonna go to GIMP and it'll say GIMP 2, but it's really 2.6. So we're just gonna go to GIMP 2.6 and let it load up. And so. What we're going to do is we're going to just uh, make this big enough. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go in and we're just going to file, new, size, 800 by 800 pixels. So that's YouTube's recommended size. We're going to click on advanced options and we're going to do background color. Uh, fill with transparency. Just get rid of the uh, comment. Press OK and you'll come up with these square type things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go to uh, select. And you do not have to do this, but I do it. Um, rounded. I usually do rounded and rectangle. And then what I did was I did concave and I did a radius of 50. Okay, so. And then it'll come up with these lines. You can see, uh, as you can see, with the paintbrush. And, yeah. Um, okay, let me just undo the paintbrush. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna go to Blend Tool and uh, Mode, and uh, just keep it at the regular mode. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, Great. Yeah, just keep it. Uh, what it was, and then um, shape. You, uh, we're gonna do radial for the shape. Uh, so we're just gonna do green for the first color. Green will be overlaying black. So uh, green to black, and then so we're gonna do it from the center, and um, it'll be. Um, It'll be, you can see the uh, radius, and we can make the radius smaller or bigger. It just depends on what you want. So, um, now we're going to go to, it's kind of blank, it's kind of plain, it's kind of boring, right? So, yeah, we're going to go to filters, and we're going to go to light and shadow. Uh, I like to add lens flare. Just adds a little bit more cool of effect. Um, and so... We're going to go back to filters, we're going to go to light and shadow, we can add uh, lighting effects. Um, uh, we can go ahead and add that in, and then um, distance, we're going to probably do like 1.8-ish. And we're going to just move this to the center to your liking, and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just go to, um, no, we're not going to do that. Nope, sorry. Uh, uh, we're going to go to, we're going to press OK. It's going to take a minute to load to put all the effects in. And, um, we'll put that effect in. You don't have to have it that bright, but I like this. I don't know. Maybe you have the lens flare. It's really bright. But, um, now we're going to go back to, now we're going to go to text, and we're just going to pick a text. I like Virtual DJ, just because it looks like a cool 8-bit game, and I love 8-bit games, so, uh, Virtual DJ, uh, and we're gonna just going to amp it up to about 204, just for now, and we're going to get the text centered right about in the middle there, and we're just going to, I'm going to do... SBP for search bar productions. I'm gonna do it in caps. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make this a bigger.
Oh, I'm gonna center it just to my liking. Uh, there we go. That looks good right about there. So, and then we just press close, and we can keep it like that, or uh, what we can do is we can add a glare. So, to make a glare, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go into select. Oh, no, sorry. All right. So now, um, we're going to do rectangle select, and we're just going to click outside a little bit, and we're just going to drag it down to about here and now we're going to go to select rounded rectangle uh do it about uh, 50 okay and then what we're going to do is we're just going to for this we're just going to take we're going to go back to our um blend tool and what we're going to do is we're going to do like a, like, a, like a white onto white okay and we're going to do linear and we're going to drag it down to keep it straight just hold down control and it should come out. okay but uh then you could add the glare and uh everything so um you could just kind of mess around with that but i like it like it is so i'm just going to do i'm going to keep it at that i'm going to keep i'm going to anchor this down and you can press control nope uh no i don't know but um now uh you're gonna press save as save and then it'll save it as an xcf file because of the invisible background but all we have to do is we're gonna have to go save as dot jpeg I'm just going to save it as a JPEG, and it'll say, or we can just do, uh, this, um, find the JPEG image, and let's save it, and what it'll say is, your image should be exported before it can be saved as JPEG for the following reasons. JPEG can plug into handle transparency. Flatten image. Export. Uh, it will not modify your original image. What we're going to do is we're going to export this. And we're going to do it with the best quality. I'm going to save it. And there you go. Um, the reason why you have to put it into a JPEG is because it will not work. Um, you have to put it into JPEG or YouTube won't accept it because it is, um, it is a XCF file and YouTube does not support those files, the XCF files, so you have to convert it to a JPEG, but, uh, it'll just give you a white background, it's not that big of a deal, it still looks really good, um, so yeah, um, that's about it for today, guys. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, see ya, and I'll put the download link for in the description below for um, GIMP, and I'll put it for uh, my Twitter. I'll give you my Twitter, guys, so you can go ahead and follow me there. I'll I'll give you guys some tweets whenever I put up a new video or whatever. So, um, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe.